if eel is harvested beyond its capacity to, 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 to sustain themselves, sure, we're going to lose something that's been very much part of our culture for a long time. But one thing we could never be sure for with certainty is what will the ecological repercussions be? If you take all the big ones away, how long do they take the little ones to grow? Maybe 10 years to grow for average size eel. You can't take too much without compromising the ecological integrity of the earth. Everything is so dependent upon something else, which is traditional knowledge. It's not just philosophical. It does have a practical application. That's why the, um, the lifestyle had to be so diverse. When I was young, my grandfather used to have seasons. It's just, he would tell me when I'm allowed to go fishing. He would come over and he'd tell me, did you give, mention about five, six families? Did you give it all them? Yep. How much we got for ourselves? Two buckets. He said, that's all we need. He said, now get ready for um, spear and eels. Get ready for the winter. In the wintertime, um, the eels, they, in the winter, they come into the estuary on their way down from the upper rivers and stuff, maybe from the local coastal areas and come into the estuary. And they find certain areas in the estuary and bury themselves into the mud. And so the eels are there on winter and it's like a food cache, you know, like if you need eels, you know right where to go. If they're gonna be there. If you're hungry, you go there, you spew, you'll get Food to eat. I think the fact that they just they take what they need and they, they leave most of them alone is pretty important. You know, and after the eels, spirit the eels, then we're smelts. And after the smelts, during the smelts was codfish. And after the codfish was the trout. How was the season? When we were young, we were not allowed to swim before June 29th. Why was it? Well, now what you see is that at that time of the year, there's a new life in the waters. And that new life needs that period of adjustment. And during that period of adjustments, they don't need human interference. We have to play a role. We have to do everything in our power to ensure that we're not going to only be able to be sustained today, tomorrow, or next year, but also for the future generations. By spending just as much energy of trying to be cognizant of the well-being of eels, the environment, then you, there in fact, you're living out your, your responsibilities as, as a Mi'kmaq person. Mm -hmm.